so uh, today we shall be starting another new chapter which will be a more interesting one <coughs> because uh, this time no in half yearly part you are you are going through all the chapters which you are having uh, the prose pieces uh, especially those are very interesting you have found it uh, already uh, interesting like uh, meeting me start up which has been taken from David Copperfield and then Peter and Wendy from Peter Pan and now today what we are going to read is the big friendly giant. Now this big friendly giant, if you if you uh, go for the uh, source of the story from where in your book uh, the story has been taken, that is actually has been taken from the book uh, Tenny the Champion of the World. Teddy, the champion of the world, we can see that from here your <coughs> story has been taken. Now, this is a book where the children, uh, where a child whose name is Danny, uh, his father is telling him a story. But uh, there, the, this story that uh, Danny, the champion of the world, uh, this one was published in the year of 1975. This one is written by Roald Dahl and it was published in the year of 1975. Now in the year of 1982, 1982, there came this story, The Big Friendly Child, which is an expansion of this story. That means the extended version of this story. So this was the story that Danny, the champion of the world, where uh, we first get the mention, we first get the name of The Big Friendly Child. This one got expanded. This one became an extended version of the story in the Big Friendly Child, where we you will be seeing that the little girl whose name is Sophie, uh, uh, she is there. And then uh, the ideas which are conveyed here, that means this Big Friendly Giant, he is not harmful to anyone, he is not a flesh eater, he is not a meat eater, uh, he eats uh, all these uh, plants and all. Uh, so uh, he is someone who is very kind-hearted, and what does he do? Uh, he actually catches dream and he makes the dream powder. He makes the powder of the dream. Uh, the bad dreams he will be destroying and the good dreams he will be taking and making the uh, powder of the good dreams. And then what he will do? He will take a blow pipe and at night he will go to the children while they will be asleep and he will be uh, uh, blowing those uh, uh, those a dust or the powder of the dreams into their room so that they will be having good dreams okay so all these are there which are again once again imaginary uh, and uh, here if you see the picture of the big friendly giant this this one uh, and then another one picture which i have is this one so here you can see that he is actually here he has found the window and throughout this window he will be blowing out all these uh, dream powder, all these uh, dream powder what he is having. Uh, so he will be uh, blowing it up, he will be puffing it up and in that way uh, when he will be puffing it up uh, into their room. So uh, the children who are asleep they will be having a very good dream. So uh, this way the story is there. Now here one thing let me make clear that this story has been taken from the big friendly giant which you are going to read in your textbook. That one has been taken from the book Danny the champion of the world. Danny the champion of the world where Danny is a little boy and his father is telling him a story. Now when uh, we get this uh, the big friendly giant that novel that one we got as an extended version of this story. That means the ideas which are here uh, in a very shorter form, those ideas are getting expanded. There you will be finding the mention of the queen and then uh, the other, um, other, other giants will be there. So they will be sometimes capturing Sophie and then uh, uh, Sophie will be conveying some sort of ideas to the big friendly giant. They will become friends and they will go to the queen and this way all the other uh, the harmful giants they will be captured uh, so that is a very long long story which you will be having in the big friendly giant but here the text which we are having that has been taken from Denny the champion of the world this one is telling us where we can see that 
there is a little boy and the little boy's father the father is telling him a story and in that story he is telling uh, the boy about big friendly child okay so we now we will be starting this story now before we start this story we are having this uh, in your page number 93 this one okay if you go to page number 93 if you open you will be finding that the first instruction which comes here is that there are different types of the stories some have uh, magical creatures while some are uh, some have talking animals some are funny while some are sad match the following story types with their common definitions so there are some definitions on and some types are given and beside that some definitions are given so you will have to match these two columns so i have done it for you you just check it and this one also i will be giving it uh, in your study material part so fantasy fantasy is what a story about unusual and adventurous event a story about unusual and adventurous uh, a story about unusual and adventurous events usually involving magic and supernatural elements supernatural elements means this kind of ghost giants and uh, all these uh, witches uh, ogre these will be there so supernatural something which is beyond natural so uh, this is fantasy now comes the mystery stories mystery stories are what a story where problems are solved by following a clue uh, a, a story where problems are solved by following clues okay now the next comes folk tale folk tale is a kind of a story that uh, passes on by groups of people and describing their way of life or uh, their beliefs uh, whatever their beliefs are or whatever their way of life is so that is described in folk tale okay next comes science fiction a science fiction is what a story with a scientific theme and usually about space and life on the other planet so that is a science fiction uh, you already have read many science fiction so there you can uh, find that it is a story about science fiction is a story about the scientific theme it tells us about something which is a futuristic thing which will happen in future and usually about a space or the life on the other planet now comes fable fable are the stories uh, uh, where you can get a moral at the end of the story there will be a moral lesson for you okay next comes comedy comedy is a humorous story with a happy ending comedy is a story which will provoke your laughter which will provoke your fun uh, which will which will be kind of a, a story where you will be getting much funny things uh, there will be a happy ending in those stories okay so these are there uh, in your book page number 93 now we are going to start your uh, text the text which you are having is that first one it starts that the boy little boy let us read about a boy whose name is danny who loved the stories that his father told him so danny is a boy who used to love the stories what his father told him now here danny is making it very clear that his father was not extremely educated his father was not a person whom you can call a highly educated person so what danny is telling us here he is saying my father was not what you would call an educated man and i doubt if he had read 20 books in his life so what he is trying to say here that his father is not a very uh, kind of an educated man and if you see that throughout his life or till today he has not read more than 20 books Uh, so he has uh, means it is a doubtful thing whether he had read 20 books or not so that is what denny is saying my father was not what you would call an educated man and i doubt if he had read 20 books in his life but he was a marvelous storyteller though he may have not read many books it, it is true that he has not read many books but at the same time he is a very he is an excellent storyteller storyteller is someone who will make the story and will present to you in that way in a very attractive way uh, so he is a marvelous storyteller that means whatever stories he tells 
those are the marvelous stories those are very attractive those are very interesting he used to make up a bedtime story for me every single night so every night when i was in my bed my father used to tell me a story every night it was a kind of a daily routine for us that he will make a story for me now this one is a made up story it's not like he has read it somewhere or he has um, uh, uh, means it it's a story which is completely and instantly he is making for him and he is telling him a story so it's a story which is instantly being made up and uh, every single night and the best ones turned into serials so the best of these stories it went on or uh, it had many parts and it went on like uh, uh, like the uh, various episodes you can say uh, various parts of the story like today what is said and from that uh, there will be the continuation on tomorrow and then tomorrow also the story will not get ended the next day again he will start from there but where, where he has stopped so this way it will run like a it will run like in a very it will run you know, serially it will run it will run in a way uh, where uh, means whatever he is telling today from there he will continue tomorrow and where he will stop tomorrow from there he will continue the day after tomorrow so this way it will go on so what the narrator is saying here that the best ones that means the best of the stories that my father told me it went on for many days not for many days actually many nights it's went on for many nights running so one after another means tonight whatever uh, he said the next night he will be continuing from there the next night again from where he has stopped so this way it went on every night the interesting stories it's not like all the stories but the interesting ones it went on for many nights it went on for many nights the interesting ones okay next what is being said here one of them which i must have gone on for at least 50 nights which must have gone on for at least 50 nights so one of the stories were like this which went on for 50 nights it was a, such a lengthy one that it went on for 50 nights was about an enormous fellow uh, called big friendly giant or the bfg for short uh, so enormous here in your uh, in text question the question which is asked is pick out two synonym for the word huge so large and enormous okay you can go for large and enormous or you can go for big big and enormous okay so here you can see the word which is given is big and then uh, you can you can see here big is given here is given big and here uh, is enormous okay so these are the two answers pick out two synonyms of use so use two synonyms of use are enormous and big okay so the story this one went on for 50 nights it was such a lengthy one that my father was telling me uh, telling it to me for 50 nights uh, it was about a big friendly giant or in short you can call bfg big friendly giant for short the bfg was three times as tall as an ordinary man so this big friendly giant he was thrice a uh, taller than a, an ordinary man okay like an ordinary man who is uh, whose height is normal whose height is normal so uh, uh, like it, uh, if you compare the height of the big friendly giant then you will be finding that the big friendly giant is three times longer than an ordinary man his hands were big as the wheelbarrows wheelbarrows is a kind of a cart is a kind of a cut it is given in your uh, in your book it is given here that what is um, the meaning of wheel barrows it's a small uh, hand pushed cart okay it's a small so here what is being said that his hands were as big as wheel barrows wheel barrows as i have said you is a hand pushed cart okay now let me show you the picture here so these are the wheel barrows this one this one Uh, these are the wheelbarrows okay this is what we call wheelbarrows so his hands were 
larger like this his hands were larger or bigger like this okay so this is wheel barrel okay you remember these are the wheel barrels which are hand pushed cart okay here you can keep something and you can push it so his uh, hands were big like wheel barrels he lived in a vast underground uh, underground cavern cavern means a kind of a cave a kind of a cave okay c a v e uh, so it was underground it was uh, it was not uh, like uh, where we live it was under this ground uh, not far from our filling station and it was not far from the filling station filling station means petrol pump okay filling filling station is a petrol pump or uh, where you can find petrol diesel all these kind of wells and he only came out into the open when it was dark he used to come out to this open space when it was dark at night so that time only he used to come out of his place otherwise he used to live in a cave inside the cavern he had a powder factory where he made more than a hundred different kinds of magic powder okay once again you don't get confused with uh, the fairy dust here this is a magic powder so what is magic powder here magic powder is a kind of a powder that he will be making out of the dreams it is being revealed after after few lines the narrator is uh, coming here so uh, his father is telling that uh, inside his cave what he used to do he used to make uh, he used to run a powder factory where he made more than a hundred different types of or different kinds of magic powder occasionally or that means very rarely or occasionally sometimes as he told his stories my father would stride up and down so this is what the narrator is saying that how his father was behaving while he was telling him a story he was striding striding means walk with a long step walking with a long step okay uh, walking with long steps long long steps so uh, his father would stride and what he would use to also he would be doing uh, he will be waving his arms and waggling his fingers waggling his fingers means doing his finger like this 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 way up and down up and down the fingers will be moving this way this way so the finger movement waggling okay so uh, what is being said here that uh, he will be waggling his fingers waggling here means what is given in your book is moving something with short movements from side to side up and down so this way he will be moving his fingers he will be moving so what he used to do while the uh, narrator's father he used to tell the story he used to stride that means he used to walk with long steps he used to walk with long steps and at the same time he used to move his finger like this up and down side to side so this way he used to move his finger that is waggling next what is given here uh, but mostly he would sit close to me so this one that the narrator has said this one he used to do occasionally occasionally means sometimes not often uh, uh, not often sometimes he used to do but often or in the most of the times what he used to do mostly he would sit close to me on the edge of my bunk bunk is a small bed bunk is a narrow bed that is fixed to the wall okay bunk is a narrow bed that is fixed to the wall let me show you the picture so bunk bed is actually this kind of a bed one side of which will be attached to the to the wall okay one side of which will be attached to the wall it's a very narrow kind of a bed so this kind of bed we call a bunk bed so uh, uh, so sometimes what he will be doing most of the times sometimes he used to stride he, he used to while he was telling me the story he used to stride he used to walk with long steps and uh, um, he used to wave his finger or waggle his finger but mostly but most of the time he would sit closer to me on the edge of my bunk on the side of my bunk bed the bed which i showed you just now and and speak very softly in a very soft tone he used to tell the story to me in a very soft voice the big friendly giant 
makes his magic powder out of the dreams that the children dream when they are asleep he said what did he say he said that the big friendly giant he used to make this magic powder out of the dreams of the children when the children they are asleep when the children are asleep the dream that they will be having out of those dream uh, the big friendly giant he used to make this magic powder okay now how i asked tell me how that so the boy the narrator is asking his father you tell me how this is very surprising this is very interesting that the big friendly giant he used to uh, make the magic powder out of the dream of the small children now you tell me how did he do so dreams my love are very mysterious thing the father is saying the father is uh, calling the son that my love dreams are the very mysterious dreams are very much mysterious mysterious means something which is having some mystery something uh, there is uh, some sort of uh, mystery with uh, uh, that you see that float around in the night here like little clouds searching for sleeping people so dreams the father is saying that you see they float around in the night here like little cloud so as if the dreams here the picture also is being showed uh, that here you can see that these are the dreams which are floating like these are the dreams which are floating like the uh, little clouds searching for sleeping people and the, as if these clouds as if these dreams they are searching for some people who are sleeping so when they will find some people who are asleep they will go and they will become they will take the form of the dream can you see them i asked uh, so the narrator who is a boy uh, the small boy he is asking can you see them can you see the dream the father is replying nobody can see them the father is replying that nobody can see them then how does the big friendly giant catch them the uh, son is asking the little boy is asking then how does the big friendly giant catch them then how the big friendly giant will be catching them if you cannot see it if i cannot see it then how can the big friendly giant catch them the dreams how can he catch them the father is saying uh, uh my father said that that is interesting part that is the interesting part a dream you see as it goes drifting through the night as it goes floating drifting means moving in a slow and steady manner uh, so drifting means moving in a slow and steady manner as it as it is drifting as it is uh, moving through the night air makes a tiny buzzing and humming sound buzzing sound actually is the sound of the bees and humming sound is a sound is a sound which you make in a very low tune the sound suppose you have uh, you have heard a song and uh, you have loved the tune of the song so the whole throughout the whole day you are humming that song that means in a very low tune you are kind of whispering you are kind of in a very low tune you are kind of uttering um, or chanting kind of that song so that is humming sound buzzing sound is the sound of the bees and humming sound is the in a very low tune a very soft tune is called a humming sound a sound so soft and low it is impossible for ordinary people to hear it it is impossible for the ordinary people to uh, hear to this voice to hear the voice of the dream but the uh, poet's father he is saying that dream is having a sound dream when it moves from one place to another place where it is floating like the clouds it has a buzzing sound or it has a very humming sound which is a very low tune very soft sound it is having a sound so soft and low it is impossible for ordinary people to hear it but the bfg that means the big friendly giant can hear it easily his sense hearing his sense of hearing is absolutely fantastic his sense of hearing that means his sense of hearing something is very much surprising is very much fantastic is awesome is uh, you can say uh, is wonderful that means he can hear uh, those voices uh, those uh, 
sounds which you and I, the ordinary people, cannot hear because we don't have a very sensible ear. We don't have a sensible ear. We don't have such kind of an ear uh, which can hear all these kind of soft and low tune, which the big friendly giant can hear. A sound so soft and low, low, it is impossible for ordinary people to hear it. But the big, big friendly giant, the BFG, can hear it easily. His sense of hearing is absolutely fantastic. His sense of hearing or his capability to hear something is wonderful, is very interesting. I loved the far intent look on my father's face. So now the father was having a very deep, engrossed kind of a look very uh, that means he is making up the story so he is having a very philosophical very deep uh, uh, insightful uh, uh, kind of a, a look uh, in his eyes so intent here what is given in your book is showing strong interest and attention so the father is having a very far and intent look intent look here means very kind of an interesting uh, look or you can say uh, a kind of a look which is showing strong interest or attention that means the father is when he is telling the story his state or his condition is being described here uh, look on the father's face when he was telling a story his face was pale and still and distant and unconscious of everything around him pale here means colorless uh, his face was pale here means colorless still that means it as if it has stopped as if it has kind of uh, become a statue like and distant it become distant as if it is being shown from a distance unconscious of everything around him and it is as if unconscious of everything which is happening around him unconscious means not aware of something which is happening around him Okay, so what is the description? The, now the narrator is giving the description of his father while he is telling him a story. What are the descriptions? He is having a far and intent look. Far means a very deep sighted. That means he is thinking, uh, uh, he is thinking the story and telling him. So that thoughtfulness is there. That intent means that interesting uh, and attentive. That one look also is there. Uh, when he was telling a story, his face was pale, that means his face was colorless, pale means colorless, still means static, as if it stopped, became like a statue, and distant, that means it looked like from a very distance something is being shown to him, unconscious, unaware, unconscious means unaware, not being aware, not knowing of what is happening around him. He is totally unconscious of what is happening around him. The BFG, he said, can hear the tread of a ladybird's footsteps as she walks across a leaf. So, here you can see that he is saying that these minute sounds. So, what is being said? The BFG, he said, can hear the tread. Tread means a very uh, the sound of the footsteps, okay, the sound of the footsteps of a ladybird's footsteps uh, as he as he walks across a leaf. Okay, now ladybird, L-A-D-Y-B-I-R-D, ladybird. Also, it is called a ladybug, B-U-G. Okay, it's not a bird. It's a kind of a kind of an insect which is like a beetle. Okay, let me just show you what is this, uh, like this. Okay, this one. This one is a ladybird or a ladybug also. B-U-G, ladybug also it is said and also the same uh, insect is also called a ladybird. Now, though this is not a bird. Now, here you can see while it will be walking on this leaf, while it will be walking on this leaf, the sound that will be produced, the footsteps of it, the footsteps from the footsteps of it, the sound that will be produced, that will be very uh, very low tune that will be very low sound which will be produced but here the narrator is saying that this sound this sound will be a sound uh, which can be easily heard by the big friendly giant he can hear the whispering of the ants 
as they scurry around now this one picture you have seen um, this one so here comes he is saying that uh, he can hear the whispering of the ants as they scurry around scurry means here scurry means uh, moving in a very quick step moving with very quick steps quick and short steps now if you 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 are not familiar with this kind of scenario if you have seen it like this that these kind of ants are there uh, they are moving in one line and from this side another ant is coming and to each and every member he is telling something they are stopping for one or two seconds and then they are moving again so uh, suppose this is one line of ants and from this side this side another ant is coming and it is kind of uh, telling something to these they are pausing for some second and again it goes again it stops here one side from from this side again another ant comes and it stops here it tells something like this uh, to this one and again it goes again it comes they pause for some uh, moments it tells something to it again it goes so this way uh, the the conversation goes on or the communication goes on so what is being said here the father is saying here that the father is what he, he is saying here that um, he can hear the whispering whispering means the murmuring sound or the uh, that means the sound where the uh, voice will not be coming only the lip movement can be seen so a very whispering sound uh, of an ant as they scurry as they scurry means as they move very quickly with short steps around in the soil in the soil in the land talking to one another talking to one another uh, he can hear the sudden shrill cry uh, uh, pain that a tree gives uh, gives out when a woodman cuts it okay shrilling means very uh, sort of loud and uh, forceful sound very loud and forceful sound that is created when a when uh, here it has been said that when a tree is being cut the tree is being cut by the woodman when the woodman comes and cuts the tree with an axe so that type the sound that the tree produces that is being said here that is it's a very shrill cry so it this cry also that means in reality you cannot listen to it in reality you cannot listen to the sound of the trees you cannot listen to the sound of the ants you cannot listen to the sound of the ladybird when it is moving through the uh, moving through the leaves okay but this big friendly giant he has this capability of hearing to all these knowledge all these noises all these very soft and low tune uh, yes my darling there is whole world of sounds around us that we cannot hear because our ears are simply not sensitive enough our ears are not sensitive that means our ears are not capable of listening to all these sounds okay our ears cannot listen to all these sounds so we cannot listen to all these sounds so we cannot hear these sounds but this big friendly giant he has the ability to listen to all these sounds so this is what is being said here we shall be continuing from here uh, the next day uh, let us stop it here uh, for today uh, i hope you have understood everything uh, and in your study mentioned part that uh, question of page number 93 will be given acha very uh, quickly let me tell you what is uh, the question uh, in text question next in text question here comes why are we not able to hear the sound of a dream we are not able to hear the sound of a dream because a dream has a according to the narrator's father the dream has a very low uh, and soft sound the sound of the dream is very low and soft for us for the ordinary people this is very low and soft okay so all these uh, in text questions also i shall be giving you in your study material some other day means the next day together all will be given okay so that's all for today have a very nice day thank you